Hey everybody, uh, I'm Kevin. Uh, welcome to my first uh, tutorial video for uh, building a website in Webflow. Um, bear with me, I've never done this before. This is my first tutorial video ever. Uh, I feel a lot like um, the main character Kayla in the new um, Bo Burnham movie, Eighth Grade. Uh, great movie if you haven't seen it, highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, I feel a little bit awkward just sitting here in front of the camera uh, talking to myself, but you know, Hopefully this is helpful to some people. Uh, and yeah, let's just jump over into it. Um, I recently built my first website using Webflow and uh, I'm really happy that I, I tried it out. I've been hearing a lot about it um, you know, for, for a number of years uh, and I think it's really kind of evolved um, since it first came on the scene. Um, you know, I've been hearing a lot about uh, its interaction tools, super powerful tools, um, and then also it exports uh, nice clean um, code as well, which is, you know, I mean, I, I guess as important as you uh, want it to be, but for, for me, that was um, important. Uh, and uh, yeah, and you can do, uh, you know, I was really stoked with how this website that I built um, turned out. Um, Webflow was, was nice enough to tweet about it. Um, thank you for that, that made me feel really good. Uh, yeah, they tweeted here. Um, and then a couple people had asked, you know, how I did some of the effects in there. Um, you know, namely, uh, was I using a lot of JavaScript libraries? Um, and then how I did the scroll jacking um, portion of it. Um, and the answer is actually no. There's there's hardly any um, custom code on the on the site at all. It's uh, it's mostly done with the interactions 2.0. Um, and let me just show you the site really quick here. Um, you know, get that nice loading effect when it when it loads. Um, you have this cool parallax um, hover effect as you move your mouse here. Um, you know, sliced up a, an image I got from Unsplash. Um, put those into those layers. Uh, these little letters here, they kind of like fade in and fade out and kind of flicker um, as you're sitting there. You know, you have these um, little pagination indicators here over on the right that pop out. You can open up the menu. That's all done um, with interactions. Um, this little explore icon. And then when you scroll down, uh, these panels also, they all um, sort of um, animate into view um, with this cool little wiping effect. Um, and you know, everything that I just showed you aside from the uh, snapping here and this little blob here over on the left side, um, that's all done with inter uh, Webflow's native interaction tools. Um, so you can actually take your website really far with uh, with no custom code, um, which is really cool for somebody who's you know maybe not as comfortable coding. Um, they want to build really cool interactive websites, but uh, don't know as much code. They can use Webflow and, and you know build these really awesome websites. Um, and I mean, they're, and it's all responsive as well, um, right out the box. Uh, Webflow has all these tools to you know to help you um, build uh, for for all devices as well. Um, so yeah, let me jump over into the tutorial side. I'm not gonna go into to it in this tutorial on how I did the, the Webflow interactions. I can do another tutorial. Uh, if, if you want me to, leave a comment down below um, and I'll try and do another tutorial for that as well. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna answer um, Shirley Mitrani, uh, sorry if I'm butchering your name. Um, I'm gonna answer her question, how I did the scroll jacking um, portion of this. Um, which is that snapping effect um, when you scroll the scroll wheel down um, or, you know, when you scroll down. Um, quick caveat, you do have to have uh, a light plan, um, you know, at least have a light, pan, a light plan to be able to use uh, custom code in Webflow. Um, the starter gets you, you know, you, you get started with that and you can do, like I said before, you can go really um, far without any code at all. Uh, but the light plan lets you also add um, custom code to your uh, to your project. Um, so yeah, I have that started. Um, I jump over to the dashboard and I'll create a new project. We'll set the blank canvas and we'll call this um, scrolling tutorial. Create project. Um, and then yeah, you're, here you are uh, in the Webflow Designer view. Um, I won't go into the interface um, too much uh, 
Webflow already has a series of like really awesome tutorials to get you started there, um, which I'll link down in the description. Um, but uh, so this is, I'm just gonna show you basically how I did um, that scroll, uh, scroll jacking where it snaps you to the different panels. Um, so to start with, I'm going to add in a div block to the body and I'll give this a class of panel. Um, and then I'll set it to be display flex uh, and then center everything inside that panel um, horizontally and vertically as well. Uh, and then I'll set the height of that to be 100 view height um, so it always fills up the, the viewport. Um, and then inside of that, I'll add another div and we'll call this one content. Set that to be um, the full width of the parent. Um, and then I'll actually center the text inside there as well, or center, center all the content inside. And then I'll drag in a heading as well. And we'll call this panel one. So to, just to recap that really quickly, um, go over to the navigator here. We have a panel container that's set to be display flex. Um, and then everything inside of that is centered vertically and horizontally. Uh, and it's first child here is the uh, content div block. And that like you, like you see here is uh, centered in that, in that uh, container. And then inside of that, I have just a, a heading really quick here. Um, so yeah, and then I can just actually just copy this um, over in the navigator panel control. Uh, Command C uh, on a Mac or Control C if you're on Windows, um, and then I can actually just paste it um, two more times, and now I have uh, three uh, identical panels. Um, and then just to make this a little bit easier to see the effect later, let's call this one panel two. I'll call this one panel three, um, and then to make this just a little bit more pretty to look at. Let's add in a background image on the panel. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to um, I'm going to add in a background image, and I'm going to set that to be centered. Set it to cover, um, no tile. And then what I'll do is add in another class here to turn this into a combo class, and I'll call this one one. And I'll go back to that image here, and I will replace the image with a nice beautiful unsplash image, upload that. Great. And then I'll go over to the panel here, go to this panel down here, and I'll do the same thing. Call this one two. And I'll set this one to be this image. And what's really nice about Webflow is actually it, um, it creates responsive images for you. So if you're familiar with that concept, um, basically just resizes all the images down uh, and it'll, it'll serve up the right image de depending on how large your screen is. So, um, you know, if you're on a really small screen, it's gonna give you a smaller image and, and not take as long to load. Um, and then I'll do the last image here. Actually, I better call this one three. Replace the image and I'll drag it down. So now I have my three panels, with my three beautiful images, um, and that's pretty much the whole setup. Um, that's all I need to do to be able to um, start building my snapping functionality. Uh, and to do that, I'm using a plugin called Scrollify. So this is um, created by Luke Hayes. Um, he has put this plugin out here for everybody to use, uh, and as you can see, you can just scroll down the page and it snaps to these sections. Um, and it's really easy to include. Um, all you have to do is include um, jQuery and then um, a link to um, a content delivery network that shows um, or that, that holds all the um, script for this plugin. Um, and then you can just initialize it um, with a quick little um, initialization script. So what I'll do here is um, 
come over into Webflow again, and I'll open up the custom code for this page here. Um, what's nice is that jQuery is already included for you in, in Webflow because um, it's used for the interaction. So you actually don't have to, you don't have to even include it again. Um, but what we'll do is uh, go over to this cdnjs.com um, and I have Scrollify uh, here. I'll link all this down in the description below. Um, but I'm just going to grab the minified version of this plugin here. And you can actually just copy the script tag right from here. Go back over to Webflow and I'll paste this here before the body tag. So this is going to load. Um, it'll load last before, when all your content is, has loaded in first. So you, you don't have to wait for that to load. Um, and then I will create a new section here. I'll start some new script. And this is really easy. Um, you just have to, uh, when the page loads, load this uh, Scrollify section here. Um, and the section is uh, that panel that we, that we just created. So I'm just gonna copy this script here. I'll paste it in between there. Um, and then I'm gonna change this to be panel because that's what we called, um, called that. And you can just save that. Um, and you can't you can't preview this um, in Webflow. It doesn't run the, the custom code until you um, you publish it. So I'll just um, publish this and I'll open that up. And fingers crossed. If I swipe the mouse, it snaps down. So there you have it. It's it's literally that easy. Um, and then you know you can you can have all these other little options here. Um, that are available to you. You can configure it as you like. There's a ton of different options that um, that are available. Um, but yeah, at its most basic, this is uh, this is how you do it. Uh, that's as simple as that. So um, yeah, uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll try and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, and hopefully this was helpful. Um, and uh, I'll see you next time. Hopefully I'll I'll uh, do some more tutorials. Thanks a lot.